Hello, my name is Tori Smith, and I would like to do a child trafficking report for the 10th of May um, in, in regards to the DARPA CIA-operated child trafficking system in the United States. Uh, on this day, 51 children were brought in by one source and taken to two locations. The Air Force, uh, who's a major child trafficker, especially from the West, and in this case as well today, 51 children uh, were picked up in North Korea by 16 Air Force males. And um, these uh, children, while they were in North Korea, were raped by 204 males, a total of 639 times. And uh, the 16 Air Force males raped 32 of these children uh, on the way here to America, which is very common. They usually always uh, rape the children on the flight home. And then the children were taken to two locations, to Pentagon. 16 of the children were taken to the Pentagon, where 516 males raped these uh, 16 children 716 times. And then they were all killed by reptilians. And Washington, D.C., my lab number one, uh, 35 children were gang raped by a group of 212 males, a total of 419 times. And it was a usual assortment of criminals, United States Senators, Secret Service, CIA, FBI, TSA, DHS, and DARPA. And all these children were also murdered by reptilians. And so I, I was going through this, and I, I would like to talk about this little girl named Kim. Uh, she was a four-year-old girl, and she was taken from her parents in the streets, and which is fairly common in China and North Korea. Um, in case you don't know, North Korea is a puppet regime of the United States, which is basically uh, a subdivision, or it's cons the United States is considered the same country as England because uh, the two are owned by the same group of people. And then the North Korea. It's the owners are based out of London City, and the military is based out of Washington, D.C. and Denver. And, um, and then the child trafficking operation is centered at the Vatican. And uh, this little girl, Kim, a four-year-old girl, she was really a quiet child, and she was always afraid of the troops. She hated the troops. Um, she didn't like the, uh, you know, she just like anything about them. The noise, the tanks, the weapons, all of it, it terrified her. Um, and she was, a, you know, a little girl that she liked, she had some colored wood blocks that she liked to play with. Kind of reminded me when I was a child. You know, we didn't have all that technology when I was a kid. And, um, but she spent most of her time alone at home. And uh, she had some books. And uh, one she really liked the most is she had a little picture book with uh, a lot of dogs in it, little puppy dogs and uh, adult dogs. And, but, you know, there was no way that her parents could afford to have an animal. And uh, after, once, this, once the troops got this child, from the time the troops abducted her in the streets uh, until uh, she, she was raped 117 times total, and she was killed at the Pentagon in the United States uh, by an army captain. Um, on the 11th of May, 46 children were brought in from one source and taken to two locations. And these children were brought in by SOCOM. And uh, these children, uh, they were collected in a few areas, some very er various areas. And uh, all these children were raped by 116 SOCOM males at, who delivered them to a Texas Air Force base by Dallas. And then they were taken to two my labs. They were taken to Denver and Dallas. 24 of these children were gang raped by a group of 312 males, all military except for two governors, Texas Governor Greg Abbott and California uh, Governor Edmund Brown. In Dallas, 22 of these children were gang raped by a group of 139 males, uh, one DARPA, and the rest were all corporate executives and CEOs. They had a special party for corporate uh, executives. And uh, all these children on the 11th of May, all 46, were murdered by uh, reptilians. And uh, what they normally do in, in, so in South America is they have this program 
where they convinced people to give their kids up for adoption, and they would say, oh, well, you bring your kids to America, you know, we'll give them food and housing and medicine and education, and we'll really take care of them. Of course, they're usually dead within, you know, a few hours after that, gang raped and murdered uh, by the Americans. But uh, this time, they went into four villages. It was a very remote location in Brazil because uh, the Texas corporate executives put in a request. In other words, they order children uh, sometimes, like picking off a menu. And some of these uh, rich uh, males in Texas said, well, we'd like to have some indigenous children for a change. How about getting some Indian children for us to rape and murder? And uh, so SOCOM went in, they um, raided four villages, and uh, 16 adults were murdered to take the children. And a little four-year-old girl who, who likes to play in a stream of water, and uh, it's almost like, you know, I could see her, they were like, almost like boulder-sized rocks, anywhere from like maybe a foot to whatever, two feet. And uh, her favorite thing to do was to splash around the water, but also to see if she could get across the stream by jumping from rock to rock to rock. And that was a really big thing for her. You know, a four-year-old girl. And uh, she liked to play around the stream and, uh, you know, and play, well, we would, we would call it the forest or woods, but uh, I'm sure there it's called the jungle. And... Um, she, uh, once she was picked up by SOCOM, she was raped 22 times by them, six more times at the Air Force Base in Texas, and then 40, 49 more times in Dallas, uh, where she was killed by a CEO of a Texas processing company. On the 12th of May, Thursday, 17 children were brought in by one source and taken to one location. ICE uh, abducted 17 more children who were crossing the border in Arizona, and uh, they just took the children and gave their parents no explanation. And seven ICE agents raped all 17 of these children. And then they were taken to the Pentagon, where these 17 Mexican children were gang raped by a group of 406 males, a total of 917 times. And they were all killed by reptilians. And um, Jose was a little five-year-old boy in this group. He was a Mexican child of five years old. And he lived in a village about 250 miles south of Arizona. And um, what they're doing now is because of profit, there are young men uh, going around kidnapping children and then basically selling them to ICE. And that was the case with this child, that he was kidnapped from his area right around his home uh, and then um, they uh, took him up to the border and sold him to ICE agents. And three ICE agents raped this boy. And then he was raped by six DARPA men and then taken to the underground rail. And he eventually ended up at the Pentagon, where he was raped by Pentagon males 106 more times. And uh, this child at that point was bleeding very, very heavily out of his rectum. And while the last four men raped him, and uh, he was choked to death by a staff sergeant. Now, this has come up. It absolutely horrified me when this first came up. But a lot of these men love when they're raping the little boys. And they also rape the little girls anally sometimes as well. But they love it when they bleed all over them because they consider the blood all over their penis uh, a badge of honor. Because these men who are raping and murdering children... Uh, you know, it's almost like they, they uh, compete to who can kill the more, more, most children. It's like, well, I've, you know, killed seven children. You've only killed six, so I'm better than you, kind of an attitude. And um, which, you know, to us is really horrifying. But uh, as I've said many times before, you know, if you Google images of reptilians, you're going to see a lot of cartoonish-looking monsters. But the truth is many, most of the reptilians... Uh, look exactly like us, look exactly like humans, except they have a primate-driven uh, instinct to kill, just like crocodiles and alligators. If you want to understand the mentality of these men, these reptilian uh, human men, look at the behavior of, of a crocodile. What does a crocodile want to do? Kill things and eat them. 
And that's basically the same thing. They have such a drive to murder children. And uh, it's really a shame that this type of behavior continues. But uh, at this point, besides the couple of thousand people that are praying to end this child trafficking operation, I really don't think anybody else cares. I really don't think that people care enough about children. You know, you know, people say things like, well, if I have to think or I have to do something, I don't want to get involved. But that's a shame. And uh, so if you are praying for these children, I thank you. God bless your hearts. I hope you have a nice day.